Hi, this is Nature Jack. Welcome to Science with Nature Jack at Home, a series of really exciting, fun videos that you can enjoy with your families and do yourself at home or just watch me do them and enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is Science with Nature Jack. This is Nature Jack. Welcome back to Science with Nature Jack at home in my backyard. Today we're going to read a story about Pepper that has to do with our experiment today. So we're going to start out reading the book called Who Put the Pepper in the Pot by Joanna Cole, pictures by R.W. Alley. I used to read this book to my children when they were little and it's an amazing story just about Pepper. Now I'm going to put my glasses on because it's much easier to read for me with my reading glasses on. Mama Sue and Papa Joe had a big old farm all coming up weeds. They had a little old house all peeling off paint and they had a bunch of kids all growing up faster than their clothes. They lived on hard work, sweetened with love. One day a letter came Rich Aunt Tootie was coming for dinner. Tootie used to a fine fancy life, worried Papa Joe. What will she think of our poor place? We may be poor, said Mama Sue, but we can cook up a hearty stew as good as Tootie's ever tasted. Everyone helped. Papa Joe got the meat. Sam chopped onions and potatoes. Toby and Jane sliced carrots. They put everything in the pot with some water, and Mama Sue put the pot on the fire. Then Papa Joe said, now ready for the chores, everybody got to work. Mama Sue was washing clothes on the porch when she heard the, bub the stew say, bubble, bubble. She remembered that she had not put the pepper in the pot. And how in the world can a stew be hearty without pepper? Hey, Joe, Mama Sue called. Will you put some pepper in the pot? I can't now, Sue, called Papa Joe from the woodpile. I'm chopping wood. Oh, fiddle, said Mama Sue. Bubble, bubble, said the stew, a little louder. Hey, Sam, called Mama Sue. Will you put some pepper in the pot? I can't, Ma, yelled Sam from the front porch. I'm polishing windows. Oh, faddle, said Mama Sue. Bubble, bubble, said the stew, even louder. Toby, Jane, called Mama Sue, will you put some pepper in the pot? We can now, Ma, yelled Toby and Jane from the yard. We're cutting grass. Oh, twaddle, said Mama Sue, but she was all in soap suds up to her elbows, so she couldn't put pepper in the pot. Bubble, 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 grumbled the stew. A little later, Papa Joe said to himself, I'm finished chopping. I better put that pepper in the pot. He went to the kitchen and put in a pinch of pepper. A little later, Sam said to himself, I'm finished polishing. I'll put the pepper in the pot. He went to the kitchen and put in two pinches. A little while later, Toby and Jane said, we're finished cutting. Let's put the pepper in the pot. They went to the kitchen and put in three pinches. And a little later after that, Mama Sue said to herself, I asked everyone to put in pepper and everyone said no. I better do it myself. It's a big stew, so I'll put in even extra. She went to the kitchen and put in four, four pinches of pepper in the pot. That will make it hearty, said Mama Sue. Got that fingers wrong. By dinner time, the clothes were clean, the grass was cut, the wood was chopped, the windows were shiny, and the stew smelled mighty hearty. And in came Aunt Tootie, all dressed up and hungry as a bear. They kissed her hello, they gave her the best chair, they gave her the plate without the crack, and Mama Sue dished out the stew. To be polite, everyone waited for Aunt Tootie to begin first. She lifted her fork and took a bite, and oh, what a face she made.
she breathed some air, she drank some water, and she shed some tears. Then she looked around the table. Who put the pepper in the pot? She roared. Everyone answered at one time. I put the pepper in the pot, said Mama Sue and Papa Joe and Toby and Jane and Sam. And they all took a bite. Yow! They looked at Tootie's face. She was frowning, but Toby and Jane saw a little smile trying to peek through. Then a little giggle came out, and a bigger giggle, and then a great ha, ha, ha. Pretty soon everyone was laughing. We can't eat that stew, said Papa Joe. Let's make something else, said Mama Sue. We'll make my famous omelet, Egg Supreme, said Aunt Tootie. Tootie took off her shoes. She put on an apron. She called for the eggs. She called for onions. She called for parsley. She called for basils, tomatoes, salt, and pepper. What? Pepper? Sorry, Aunt Tootie. There wasn't a pinch of pepper in the whole house. Thank goodness. And that is the story of who put the pepper in the pot. Hi, this is Nature Jack. We just finished reading the book, Who Put the Pepper in the Pot by Joanna Cole. So now we're going to extend that reading and we're going to do a, a science experiment about pepper using pepper, water, dish detergent, and something called surface tension. So I have in front of me a pitcher of water, a large bowl or a large plate is sufficient. We have dish detergent, you can use any brand. We have a container of coarse black pepper, grounded pepper, and we also have some uh, containers that we can pour the water into to better use it like a science experiment. We also have hand sanitizer on the table, which is important in these times. So the first part of our experiment, we're going to take the water. I'm going to pour it into the science beaker, it's just plain water from the sink, and I'm going to pour it into the bowl right here. Water goes right into the bowl, and you have a white bowl with water inside. Now I'm going to take some pepper, and I'm going to pour it on top of the water so it completely covers the water. Then I'm going to take my finger and put it right into the pepper that's already sitting on top of the water. And the pepper is sitting on top of the water because of something called surface tension in the water. The water molecules are very attracted to each other, so it makes the water actually we call it sticky water. And when you put your finger in the pepper, actually nothing happens because all that might happen is you might get some pepper on your finger, but it doesn't change anything on the surface. Now, if I take some dish detergent and I pour that onto my finger, and then I take my finger, which has the dish detergent on the end, and I stick that into the pepper, the pepper amazingly moves away from my finger and spreads out to the edge of the container. Plates. And the reason this happens is because the water surface tension keeps all the pepper together, but detergent changes the tension of the water, and all the pepper apparently appears to run away from my finger to the outer edge. And you can do it a different way. You can actually put less pepper on there, and it'll look like the pepper's running away even faster. And this is a science experiment about surface tension using pepper, detergent, and water. You could do this easily at home. Have fun. This is Nature Jack, and thanks for watching. Hey, this is Nature Jack. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.